We're now going to start looking at a new theorem that Euclid came up with, and that is the following. So as always, we'll start off with a circle. Then we're going to draw a tangent to that circle. Now remember, a tangent touches a circle in exactly one place. Then, starting at B, we are going to draw another tangent to the circle, like that. Now what Euclid came up with, and you can try this at home and measure it, you'll see it works out perfectly. What he found was that the length of AB will be exactly the same as BC, as long as both lines are tangents, and most importantly, that they both come from the same point. So please, pause the video, try this a few times, take a piece of paper and a pen and just draw a few circles, they don't have to be perfect, and draw a few tangents from a common point, and you'll see that their lengths are going to be the same. So if we look at this diagram over here, because AC and AB are tangents, because they touch at exactly one point, and they come from a common point over there, their lengths would be equal. And then lastly, if we look at the shape over here, A and, or AC, sorry, so A to C, that's a tangent, and C to B, that's also a tangent, and so those two tangents will have the same length because they both come from point C. However, you don't want to include this part down here. You must only say that the length of AC is the same as the length of BC. And we won't include that little piece that was going off at the end. It's only the points, they must come from the same point. Then we can say that those lengths will be the same. Now the reason we use, so for example in this question we would say that AC has the same length as BC. Now the reason you would use is tans, meaning tangents, from common points. Now your teacher might change that up slightly, but I've seen quite a few teachers use that reason over there. Tans, so that means tangents, from common points. 